received a phone call um, because a homeowner has a profuse amount of sweating on his windows. So uh, I went over there and wanted to talk to you about a, few, a little bit of my findings. Um, when you have, when you're sitting out at your, uh, on your back porch and you're drinking a glass of iced tea and you see the condensation on the glass, you know what's happening. Uh, the water that's in the air is hitting a cold surface and there's condensation. Windows are the same thing. Uh, the humidity inside the house could be uh, say 50% and then it is approaches the cold surface of the window. Uh, the humidity goes up because temperature is going down. Um, and it's a ratio between that. <clears throat> so, you know, it's going to 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then it's hitting hundred percent humidity at the window. And then that's called dew point. And then you get condensation on the window. So, um, uh, I go in the house, uh, I see all the water damage that's taking place on the windows because of the condensation. And so what's the first thing you do? You, uh, you go into the attic. Uh, the attic is the, the, the water goes into the house through the foundation, through the basement, and then it goes uh, and it exhausts through the attic. All the moisture is created inside the envelope of the house is exhausted through the attic. So I went up there and lo and behold, they didn't have um, a bat. They had their insulation up directly against the roof decking. <clears throat> and then, um, so there was no intake whatsoever. And then the ridge vent had a low profile cap on it. So that it was only a quarter of an inch exhaust uh, when it should be an inch and a half. And um, so the moisture in the house was not getting out of the attic. And what happens is the humidity goes to, you know, 80% uh, in the attic and then it, it, it can't go any further. So the humidity in the house goes, uh, works its way down until you have too much. So one of the, one of the symptoms of this is twofold. One is you get sweating on your windows during the winter and then uh, you get mold growth on your contents and furniture in your home. Anytime you see mold on contents and furniture in the house, make a beeline to the attic and find out what's going on. Making sure, because that's the first, uh, that's the first uh, uh, issue that normally has to be addressed. Um, uh, so if you have a uh, normal house, normal humidity, normal ventilation, the only way to control condensation on a window is threefold. One is uh, reduce the humidity in the house <clears throat> with a dehumidifier, figure out what's causing the elevated humidity. Drop your humidity somehow, some way. Uh, second is create a thermal barrier on the windows. That means plastic. Uh, there are some windows that um, uh, uh, just are, are crappy, old, crappy, single pane. Uh, and you're not going to stop that condensation from happening. The other is to raise the temperature inside the house by two or three degrees. Uh, that would change the dew point requirement uh, on condensation of the window by raising the temperature. Lower the humidity, create a thermal barrier, or raise the temperature. That's all you got. Uh, make sure the attic is ventilated correctly. 90% of the time, that's what I see as being the problem. 